Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week, as you can tell, my hair is wet. I'm finally doing a curly hair routine. So if you want to know how I do my wash and this is pretty much just a wash and go, nothing like too special. So if you want to know how I do it, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just starting with freshly co-washed hair. I didn't shampoo today, I just used conditioner and I will show you what I use. Hold on. So like I said, I just co-washed. It's actually still wet, but I use the Quenching Coconut Curls Conditioner. Um, I just started using this. I think I need something tailored for curly hair because this has so much slip. It's so easy to detangle my curls. And if you don't know what slip is, it's just the amount of like literally slip. Like if you use um, a really cheap conditioner, your hands, your fingers won't slip through your curls as well and you won't be able to detangle as easily. But if you have a conditioner that's tailored to curls, it's paraben, silicone free, I believe this is. Um, this works super well for my hair, so I think I'm going to keep using it. This is what it looks like. And I highly recommend, I use the matching shampoo with it and I think it works really well together, so I definitely try this out if you're looking for like a cheaper option that works pretty well on your hair. So I did get out of the shower probably like 15 minutes ago. I did my makeup super fast. Uh, so my hair is starting to dry. I just wrap it up in like an old t-shirt, tank top. Um, throw that over there. So since my hair is getting dry, I just take a normal spray bottle, I think I got this for like a dollar at Target, and I will re-wet my hair. Some people, and I would try this differently, and what works for me might not work for you. If you're still in the early stages of transitioning, this don't get discouraged if you're not seeing the results that you want, because a lot of times I'd watch girls on YouTube who I really liked who had like even like 4A hair or 3C, really, really curly hair, and I was still like a 2A at the time, 2C, maybe. What they're doing didn't work for me, so just take that into consideration. Um, don't be discouraged to try these products. Try them if you don't like them. Return them. I don't know. If you don't use very much, it's probably not bad. But, um, yeah. Some people like to work when their hair is soaking, like sopping wet. I don't, oh my gosh, so much water. I don't necessarily like that myself, but I do like my hair to be pretty wet when doing a wash and go. So, when I feel like my hair is pretty, pretty, not soaking, but pretty wet, um, I will re-detangle and I have two detangling brushes I like to use the one with the um, handle on in the shower and then I have this one it's a tangle teaser this one's from Ulta it's just a cute little detangling brush and what I there's a mirror over here so if you see me looking what I've noticed is I like to separate my hair where I'm going to part it I've also noticed a lot of girls um, with curly hair will pull their hair straight back so they don't necessarily have a defined part, but my forehead's a little big for that, so I need to um, either part it in the middle or part it on my right side. So do whatever you want. If you want, if you want more of like a carefree curly look, maybe you want to pull it straight back and style it straight back. If you want more of a defined part, definitely style with your part in mind. Okay, so once I'm fully detangled, I already detangled in the shower, but my hair gets tangled pretty fast. After I detangled, I will go in with, whoops, there goes cap, with my Carol's Daughter Almond Milk Daily Damage Repair. It's a leave-in conditioner. You can tell that I've used, it's like down here majority of it. This is what the bottle looks like. I love this. It smells so good. Um, I think it says it repairs break, breakage, um, split ends, things like that. So I just use it kind of like as a precautionary and it makes my hair pretty soft and smell really good too. So I'll just spray that all throughout. And don't break the back of your hair. I feel like a lot of times, and I still do this, I kind of neglect the back of my hair and like under here, 
Um, and then I find that I get a lot, a lot of knots and I'm constantly co-washing, which is fine. I just wash with conditioner like every few days, but if you can do something about it, add a little more product to the back, it might save you a couple days on wash. So once I've gone through this, kind of raked it throughout my hair, I go in with, oh my gosh. That's another thing too, guys. If you're losing a lot of hair, that's not necessarily a bad thing because when your hair is curly, your hair doesn't fall out as often as somebody with straight hairs does. So you lose about 100 strands of hair per day. Well, think about it. Somebody with straight hair is losing 100 strands per day and it's just falling out all the time. Like you'll see it on their clothes, like their hair is just constantly shedding. But for somebody like us with curly hair, our hair sheds and it just stays in there until we detangle, wash it out, fully take all the hair out. Like it's kind of a messy process. So if you go four days without washing, you have about 400 of 400 strands of hair that's just waiting to fall out so don't be nervous I have a lot of fallout um, and it's completely normal but second I go in with my Cantu moisturizing curl activator cream this is sulfate silicone and paraben free which is why I love Cantu and it's super affordable I think this was only like five six dollars at Target um, so I've recently started going in with a little more product because I find that it works better and now that my hair is kind of getting to where I want it to be, I'm going a little bit heavier with the product because it doesn't weigh down as easily. So, you guys might not think this is heavy, but for me, I think this is a lot of product. So I use about this much for half my head, and then I put a little bit more in the back. I'll rake that throughout, get every single strand. Not everybody likes putting product towards the top because their hair might get weighed down. Um, I don't, I find that I need a little bit more. You want your hair, you want to be able to hear the, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's really squishy noise. That means you have enough product and you have enough water. You need water to have moisture and you want as much moisture as you can get. I also tend to need more product on this side of my hair. It's the thinner side, um, and most of my hair flips this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much fallout right now. It's horrible. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I feel like I need more product on this side, so don't be afraid to put more product in other places. Like, less product on one side, more on the other. Okay, so there's that. I also feel like it makes a slight difference if I use my Deadman brush. I think I've shown this before. This is a mini one. I didn't know if it was gonna come in this small. Um, but my hair obviously is still transitioning. Some girls or guys, whatever, whoever's using this brush, will put it through their hair and their curls will just spring up. Mine don't necessarily do that. This just helps define the curls. So I'll just rake this through, rake all the product through my hair. Um, I only do that with this product because I like every strand to be covered. And lastly, I go in with my Jelly Soft, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls. This is also from Target. All these products are from Target. I go in with about this, I don't know if that's focus. This much product. And this I will just rake throughout my hair. Oh, no. 
I am always a little bit later to work when I do my wash and go because I can't stop scrunching. So if anybody was wondering at work why I come in some days at 9.15 instead of 8.30, it's this, because of this. Or I'm filming, one of the two, scrunching or filming. Clearly very important. Okay, don't forget to scrunch the back. My curls aren't as defined in the back, so you can never scrunch enough. I also tip my head over and scrunch like this. So now that we've scrunched, we've raked all the product through our hair, I will either air dry or diffuse and recently I have found that air drying makes my hair so defined like way more defined way softer just overall way better results but since I am going to work most days um, and today I have family here so I don't want to be running on wet hair I might film another video I don't want to have wet hair so I will um, diffuse I feel like my hair still gets defined but I do get more frizz, um, which isn't always a bad thing. My hair is usually bigger on the first day if I do diffuse, just a little bit. Um, but it is more dry. And even if I use a heat protectant, which I don't have one today, but I just use my blow dryer on medium heat and the highest setting, and then I go between the medium heat and the cool heat. One hour later. So my hair is probably 90% dry. Uh, pretty, pretty defined. And I don't actually use a pick. I don't have one. I used to, but I took it out with me once. Uh, never found it again. I just scrunch, kind of shake, switch sides, scrunch. Shake, put my fingers, you don't want to use your nails for this, but use your fingers and kind of just like massage your scalp to kind of like break up the curls, I guess. If you had a pick, this would be the time to use it. Um, you'd want your hair to be 100% dry and then go in and start picking your hair. Here are the results of my wash and go. It's not as it's bigger than I expected and more defined than I expected. It turns out different every single time I do it. So, I don't know, my hair is very unpredictable. Uh, I never know what it's going to look like. Today, it actually turned out pretty well. It's bigger and more defined than I expected. So, yeah, I give this wash and go a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends if they are struggling with curly hair. I want to focus more on curly hair this year um, because I am still transitioning myself. I know that my hair still has a long way to go. But yeah, if you want more of those videos, more curly hair videos, give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you want more of these. With that being said, I will see you next week. Bye!